I'm Sean White, and today we're meditating on hot dogs. So the history of hot dogs goes back thousands of years, actually starting with sausages, which um, in the Odyssey by Homer written 8 BC, I think, uh, there was references to sausage in that. There's also uh, been speculation that uh, the Roman Emperor Nero uh, is the one who invented the sausage, but I can neither confirm nor deny that because I wasn't there. All I know is eventually the sausage made its way to Germany and about four or 500 years ago, the um, modern day hot dog was created either in Frankfurt, where we get the Frankfurter, or Vienna, where we get the Wienerwurst. Um, they're still fighting about that even to this day. Eventually it made its way over the pond uh, to America, where I live, and uh, now it is synonymous with backyard barbecues, baseball games, and Coney Island, where Nathan's Famous hold their uh, annual hot dog eating competition every uh, 4th of July. Um, so how can this icon of American cuisine, which is really German, um, you know, uh, fall under such scrutiny? It's so terrible for us. Hot dogs are so bad. The World Health Organization has classified them as a group one carcinogen. Um, and to put that into some sort of perspective, uh, tobacco, alcohol, and asbestos are also in group one. So, you know, good company. Yay, hot dogs. Um, it's processed meats in general. But anyway, I digress. So let's unpack this. Let's, uh, let's take a look at hot dogs and, uh, and, and try to understand uh, what the, uh, you know, what all the fuss is about. So before we begin, I want to let you know that I'm not going to be talking about hot dog alternatives uh, in this particular program. If you want to learn how to turn a carrot into a hot dog, and that's a thing, uh, you're going to have to find uh, information elsewhere. Uh, there's tons of uh, other information. Today, we are just talking about hot dogs. Now, a lot of people have said in the past, uh, I've heard this, uh, if you knew how a hot dog was made, you would never eat a hot dog again. So dramatic. Um, I, that's garbage, right? I can, I can tell you how a hot dog is made, and I'm going to, actually. And um, if you love hot dogs, it's not, going to, uh, it's not going to change your opinion. You're still going to eat hot dogs. Knowledge does not equal change. And actually, I don't think how a hot dog is made is that big of a deal. It's essentially ground meat that's mixed with spices and preservatives, put into a casing, and then cooked. It's not... Nothing sounds bad about that, right? Like a meatloaf is ground meat that's mixed with spices, formed into a shape, and cooked. So the uh, how it's made is not necessarily the issue. It's what's in it uh, that becomes the problem. So let's take a look at the uh, the ingredients and uh, and and try to figure out uh, where where all the problems are coming from. So the first thing that we got to talk about is the meat, which should be your number one ingredient. And if it's not, you need to start questioning your uh, your purchasing decisions. All right. So uh, usually uh, uh, hot dogs are either pork based, beef based. You can get turkey, uh, turkey dogs. You can get uh, chicken. Um, by and large, they're usually made with something called meat trimmings, which sounds dubious and suspect, except for the fact that it's not. Um, if you think about it, if you buy a nice steak or a nice pork chop, uh, the butcher had to trim that down to get it to look the way it did. What was left over from that, these are what meat, meat trimmings are. So in one regards, it's good because of the fact that this stuff normally would just get tossed and, and be garbage, and I hate food waste. Instead, it gets used for things like hot dogs. The problem is, though, that these trimmings are usually the lesser quality, which is why they got trimmed away, right? They're normally higher in fat, uh, less on the meat side, and they're not as good. Now, if we're talking about a really good quality uh, cut of meat to start with, okay, that's, that's not as terrible. But if we're looking at like meat that maybe was like factory farm, lots of uh, antibiotics and uh, growth hormones, and stuff like that. Now we're talking about a, a lower quality product and now we're taking the lower quality scraps uh, and using them on that. So that's a bit of a problem. Uh, also, not so much on beef hot dogs, but on pork, uh, they can also have other things added in like mechanically separated chicken, where it's just, um, which sounds terrible. Uh, they, uh, they essentially run like the chicken bones through um, 
sebs at like high pressure to basically scrape everything off the bones. So you might end up with some tendons, some cartilage, uh, some bone itself that gets mixed in. So that's not necessarily like great. Um, so we have to be mindful of this stuff. We need to look at the ingredient list uh, on our package. When we're standing in front of the, uh, you know, the, the case filled with, uh, you know, all these different brands of, uh, of hot dogs in the supermarket, we just need to kind of take a look at stuff like that. Uh, you know, there could also be um, byproducts added in. There could be fillers uh, added in. On a really lower quality, they might have something called uh, variety meat, which ends up being more uh you know parts of the animals that you might not normally eat like you know uh, like organs like stomach linings uh like snouts like just things like that it, it doesn't really get used as much anymore um but it's definitely something that we need to like uh look out for um also while we're still in the realm of the animal itself um, the casings, if you get, if you go with natural casings, uh, usually it's either, uh, I think sheep intestines or like, uh, hog intestines. Um, there's a lot of times now that, uh, some things might, uh, use like kind of a, like a plant based, like a cellulose, uh, just to form the hot dog. And then when they cook the, uh, the, the casing gets removed. So if you see something that says a skinless Frank, that's going to be the reason why they had put in a casing, they removed the casing, uh, after cooking. Um, a hot dog with um, with a with a natural casing on it's going to have a little bit more of that snap when you bite into it. Uh, but some people get a little freaked out on thinking about the fact that they're eating like intestines. Uh, don't think about it, uh, or don't eat it. Either one. Now the other problem is um, traditionally uh, hot dogs are a cured uh, a processed meat. Now processed just mean that it, they took it from its original form, they processed it into something else. Uh, I don't necessarily have a problem with that term, but on the curing, they, uh, they usually gets done using sodium nitrates. And um, what curing is, is, is using something to remove the moisture out because bacteria thrives in moisture. So you remove the moisture out, you have less of a chance of bacteria forming. That's going to make things last longer. We want things to last longer. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. The bad thing is these nitrates and nitrites um, have been linked to uh, forming certain cancers. So there's your trade-off. It's like your hot dog lasts longer. Not that hot dogs last very long in my house anyway, but they last longer, but they have this negative health effect. So we need to be mindful of that. Um, you can get um, uncured hot dogs. There's a lot of brands that have been moving away from that, uh, from curing them. Uh, I know Oscar Myers has done that, uh, which is impressive. Um, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. But that's one of the things that, uh, that that's one of the major health, uh, negative health effects um, uh, with hot dogs. You know, you also have to look at the other ingredients that are, 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 are in there. I mean, there could be sugars that are added for you know, no apparent reason, uh, corn syrups that are added in, uh, weird dyes, uh, weird preservatives, weird uh, flavorings. You know, we always want to try to find something that's as natural as possible uh, with the fewest amount of ingredients as possible. That is going to make things better for us. So I'm never going to sit there and say that a hot dog is going to be uh, healthy uh, for us, but we can choose a healthier version of that. So let's take a look at what we should be looking for on the healthier side. So there's a couple of things to look for. The, the major one is uh, looking for stuff that has no uh, nitrates uh, added, no nitrates added. Um, so most of the time that's going to be an uncured hot dog. So uh, we're gonna look for uncured hot dogs. Um, we're just going to try to look for things that have minimal ingredients, um, and things that don't look weird to us, right? So I have, um, this is a brand that I like. This is called, uh, the brand called Applegate. This is their uh, uncured beef hot dogs. Um, it's got no antibiotics. Uh, it's 100% grass-fed beef, uh, pasture-raised, humanely raised. Um, you know, it's a non-GMO uh, verified. Um, it's just no nitrates. No, it's it just, a, it's, it's a, fairly 
uh, good product uh, in regards to what a hot dog is. And they're not the only ones. Uh, I picked that one because I like them. I buy their hot dogs. I buy their I buy their bacon. Um, I think the Whole Foods uh, 365 brand is good. Even like I mentioned before, Oscar Mayer is doing a lot better uh, with their stuff. It's not as uh, not as much uh, garbage in them as they used to be. It's going to come down to just reading your labels and seeing what's inside uh, the, the package. That's what it comes down to. Uh, this is how we make better decisions. So we want to get stuff, um, minimum, minimum ingredients, um, and make sure that we're getting stuff that uh, sounds good to us. You know, if you're getting, uh, if you're getting things that, um, you know, are questionable, uh, you know, I think we know the answer to that. We, we know that it's not going to be the best thing for us. Now, I, I will say this, though. Um, a, a, you know, a product like a 100% beef hot dog is not going to have that same flavor as the hot dog that I had growing up uh, that had all the fillers and fat and salt and garbage in it. Uh, and I get that. You know, sometimes uh, the, the flavor is com uh, completely different. Um, a pork hot dog is going to taste different than a beef hot dog. Find one that you like, though. Find something that you like and then uh, and go from there. And then just also, you know, make sure that this is a sometime food and not like an all the time food. Um, you know, uh, they, they mentioned that uh, 50 grams of processed meats uh, a day, which would be like one sausage, one hot dog or two slices of bacon can increase your risk of colorectal cancer by 18%. You know, that's if we're like eating it like every day. So we just don't eat these things every day. You know, we understand what the risks are and we make uh, we make better decisions that way. So I hope this is giving you a little bit to think about, uh, you know, particularly for your next uh, backyard barbecue. Uh, maybe take a look at uh, at the hot dogs you're buying. Um, and, uh, and and try to make a, a decision that you feel comfortable with. Right. So if you like this video, click the like button. If you want to hear more of what I got to say, um, subscribe, uh, turn on notifications. Um, also, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think about hot dogs. Let me know if you uh, think it's worth uh, trying to go a healthier route uh, on them. And, um, you know, uh, spread the love. Uh, let your friends know uh, about the show if you're enjoying it. And until we, uh, until we speak again, be well, be safe, and be kind to everybody.